Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. Doing something a little bit different again today. We've done a video in this vein before though. That was the how much of Europe did I know video. Today we're just going to do this entirely on the United Kingdom. You see it there at the top. United Kingdom has been plugged into that. I do need to zoom in. I don't know why that's unzoomed. I've got 15 minutes on my clock once more. I have double checked. The UK population is just over 68 million, 16, 68 and a quarter there or thereabouts. So just in case this doesn't compare it to just the UK population and compares it to the entire Europe population, knowing that the total, knowing that the total that we're aiming for is 68 million, just over 68 million is something that we can put in our brain. So with that in mind, there's not really much more to do with this. I will put the links for this web page down below along with the previous video, of course, just in case you want to check those out. The sound might sound a little bit different here, just doing a few different things with my sound modulations and all that jazz. So let me know if it sounds better, it sounds worse. Either way, we can work it out. I'll have my own opinion, of course. I figured this is, I figured this is the right kind of video to try that with. And the aim for this one is for the population, not just how many towns can I know. So I'm going to aim for the high population towns, although likely to start with a few familiar favourites. Without any further ado, let's get going. So we'll start with London, obviously. And I forgot that I have to press enter on this one. It's not like Sporkle. Yeah, so it is doing it against the European urban population. So London takes care of just about 9 million. So Manchester, Birmingham. Now, I obviously have got this limited to only put in UK places. If I accidentally put any Republic of Ireland places for Ireland, I do apologise in advance. Did I put Birmingham third there? I can't quite remember. But that looks like that might be Birmingham. So get a few around the old block. So that's Liverpool, Leeds, Sheffield and Newcastle in. Uh, Nottingham in that vicinity along with Derby, of course. We'll do Cambridge and Oxford. We'll do uh, Reading. Just falls off from Oxford really in my brain. Norwich and Ipswich, although Ipswich I'm not expecting a great deal from because I don't think it's that populous. No, it's only a few, a few hundred thousand, I think. Um... Although that's actually, no, that's probably actually a little bit more, more than I was expecting, about 200,000. Okay, uh, Lincoln won't be a great deal. I'm actually surprised, surprised to know how much there was. Just over 100,000 people in Lincoln, according to this. Of course, this is UK, so Cardiff, Edinburgh, Glasgow will knock a few more out. Uh, Swansea, Aberdeen, get this right, Belfast. <laughs> now, I'm going to put in a town here, which I never know which is the correct one to put in here. So, it's accepted Derry. If that's the wrong one, I apologise. Don't know why Exeter's popped in there, into my head. 17 million. I've only got 17 million. There's 68 million people in Britain. I must be missing a few high, high places already. Oh, Bristol. One of the few places to have accounted that is it's just metropolitan area. So that should get me a few. Uh, along with Manchester and Liverpool, I think. They're the only three. Now, uh, York will be a few more. Not a great deal more. Chester... I wonder, if it's, I wonder if it's things like Bolton. Ah, okay, so obviously they're not part of Manchester, but they're sort of merging into the suburbs, of course. So I wonder, I'm wondering how fine the suburb margin is. Bolton, just to, just to prevent anyone from being offended by my Bolton reasoning here, Bolton definitely a separate place to Manchester, but places that are st sort of becoming part of the larger cities is a question. I'm just trying to think of one that would technically work for that, and I, I can't. Rotherham's next to Sheffield, but again, they're sort of having a similar problem. They're merging into each other, although don't tell them that. Doncaster Hull might have a fair few. Hull, relatively big circles. I'm thinking that was a nice little jump. Didn't see. Wasn't paying attention. Carlisle, worthy enough to be in Euro Truck Simulator, so must be a reasonable amount there. Lancaster, probably not that many, despite the fact it is technically a county capital. I feel like there's a... Again, whilst there looks like there's a big gap between sort of Newcastle and Leeds, similarly, not that much in terms of population. Because qu you've got the Dales, you've got the uh, North York Moors, and you've got the Lake District as well. As everybody in Middlesbrough, Sunderland, I would presume, definitely a separate entity than Newcastle. Bigger circle than Newcastle, bizarrely. Don't know if that had more population than Newcastle. We'll find out afterwards. Uh, Scotland have got a fair few more. Still got 11 minutes on this, by the way. So we should get a nice hefty portion. I think the London circle is... F making me forget about the south coast here because it's covering all of it. I don't know why I'm just going to put Hastings in here. More than I thought for Hastings. About what I thought for Truro, though. <laughs> More than I thought for Hastings. And again, similarly with London. London suburbs are going to be interesting. So places like Dartford are counted as a separate entity. 
Uh, Watford. We're gonna, Watford's going to be an interesting one. Counted as a separate entity. But a suburb like Wembley, maybe? Probably not. It is. Huh. Work that one out later on. But Kings Lynn I'm going to put in because it's not going to give me that money. And Boston. Let's go back to Lincolnshire briefly. Let's get my home county locked in. It's not going to give me a lot. Grimsby. Uh, Scunthorpe's actually Lincolnshire. Not that anyone ever knows that. That's sort of the major ones. Newark and Grantham. And Sleaford. That should knock out the major parts of Lincolnshire anyway. Although I am going to put in a few more. <laughs> I was intrigued to see which case that I put in because I know there's a case in uh, Norfolk as well. Speaking of Norfolk, let's put in Great Yarmouth. And a few, a few of the more well-known Norfolk places. Cromer, Great Yarmouth. Uh, Dereham might have a reasonable population for it to make make it worth putting in. The same for Thetford. Uh, Ely's not too far. That's in Cambridgeshire, though. For some reason, Dissin Ipswich has just popped into my head. I don't think that's really got any population at all, but I put it in. Harford. Probably should just do some state uh, state capitals. County capitals. Gloucester, Worcester. Uh, Hampshire. In Northampton. In Northampton. Uh, did I do Southampton when I did the South Coast? I don't think I did. I think I did Bournemouth and Portsmouth. Uh, we'll do Plymouth as well while I'm on that train, I thought. Just hilariously. Just put in Penzance. Why not? Now, funny, funny place name. It's coming to my head. I'm going to put it in. There goes Twat. It's in the Shetland Islands. It didn't count for whatever reason. That's it. Hilarious. While I'm thinking of funny places, in goes Peniston. It's not going to get me that much population, but sod it. It's in there now. I did Derby, right? I think so. Yeah. I suppose I should work down the football list right now with eight minutes to go. I've been intrigued by Tottenham because it is a suburb of, suburb of London. So I was intrigued to see if that would give me any more. No, is the answer there. Will Tranmere give me a separate thing from Liverpool? No. Same with Fulham. I'm just intrigued. I'm just intrigued by suburbs a little bit as I try and work my way to a team that I've not put in yet. I haven't put Brighton in, I don't think. Going on the football connection. I haven't put Brighton in. Eastbourne's got a reasonable population. That wasn't a football one, really, but I know they're a, I know they do have a football team along with Weymouth, but they're a little bit further down. Uh, Mansfield in league one or two. I can never remember the bounce between them, I think. Forest Green aren't Forest, I don't know if Forest Green is an actual place or not. It isn't. I think it is, but it isn't. It's in a different place, and it's not Slough, but it's a very similar... I think it begins with S. Not that it matters too much. Walsall's its own place. West Bromwich? Have we counted separately? Oh, I'm done Wolverhampton. That's a big one, probably. Uh, 23. We're about... Well, we're between a third and a... Just over a third. People from Scotland are probably shouting me to fill in a little bit more Scotland. Inverness. Dumbarton's ring a bell. Air. Don't know why I'm just going to bring red car. That's south of the border. Barrow, again. South of the border, but did Edinburgh. Uh, Stirling. Berwick. Now, there's a Berwick, and then I think there's a Berwick upon Tweed. I think there's two. There, there is a second Berwick, because I know I've had that confusion before. Also, a little bit in my brain, I've avoided going to Northern Ireland just so I don't accidentally get it wrong, I think. Beyond the two that I was absolutely con confident on, because Cork definitely isn't. Dublin obviously definitely isn't. Because most of the most of the Irish places I'm aware know of, I know through horse racing, and I think most of them are in Republic of Ireland. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, horse courses. I mean, Southall's a town, but... Haydock. Um... <laughs> Newton Abbott is tiny, but it's coming to my brain for some reason. I'm not sure if Goodwood is his own town. So, uh, same with Ascot's big enough to count. Um, These do go quite small. I did do Boston, I think. So, horse courses. Thirsk in Yorkshire. Uh, Halifax isn't a horse course, but I need to do fill in a few more Yorkshire places just so I don't lose my Yorkshire card. I've put in Pickering there. I'm homing in on the one that's below it. Weatherby, that's the one I was trying to think of. It's got a, it's got a horse racing course. Um, four more minutes. Still feel like I'm missing one. Still feel like I'm missing one there in terms of horse racing. But never mind. Thought we should divert back to football for a little bit. I'll put in Newport in Wales. We'll do a little bit of Wales. I was going to try and type Aber Whisperth there, but I'm going to go with the ones I can spell a little bit easier. Carmarthen, I can spell it. That went well. I know that wasn't going to be big enough. Aber Whist with. Mm, no, Aberystwyth with didn't go well. I tried. Uh, Caerphilly, I think I can spell, because I don't think it is actually spelled weirdly. Banger in North Wales. Oh, there's two bangers. 
I'm not sure how I get Banger Whales. That's irritating. That's irritating. Milton Mowbray for no re Oh, uh, Milton Keynes is relatively large and will be a decent one I've missed there. I, feel like, I still feel like there's a big one in Scotland that I've completely ignored. Did Dundee. There's a Perth in Scotland, but I don't think it's that big. Um, Barry and Wales, why not? Um, did Newport, New Quay was the one I was following on for. Definitely did Newcastle at this point, haven't I? So, good. Two minutes to go, probably should rattle through any loose football place. Salford would be separate for a suburb, probably from Manchester. It is indeed. Uh, Wakefield, Castleford. Not really fun for the football side of things, but local enough. I bet there's some down in the south I've missed because of that big London circle. I've just completely not bothered with it. If you allow me to have Leamington Spa without putting anything else on it, that'd be nice. Same with Tunbridge Wells. Did allow me to did allow me to put them without putting Royal in. So that's nice. Time saver. Reading, Oxford, Wimbledon. Hmm. Didn't have that separately, unless I typed it wrong. Well, I typed it wrong. Utoxeter. Got a dog from Utoxeter. Not that big. Stoke. Blimey. Can't believe I nearly missed that one. I did put in Cambridge. So Peterborough. Blimey. How did I nearly forget Peterborough? Essentially one of Lincoln's great, great arrivals when it comes to football. Just because they're big-ish. Usually a similar level. And there's nothing else in Lincolnshire. So we have to go down a bit. Uh, oh god. Ten seconds to go. I'm staring at my keyboard just to... For no reason at all I'm going to put Kettery in. <laughs> Why not? Why not? A second to go. 111 makes that nice and neat. 25.5 there or thereabouts on the total population. 4% of the European there or thereabouts, but we weren't focused on the entirety of the Euro European population. We are focused on just the UK, which is 68.2, which is 68.275. So 200,000 over and then 43 million under <laughs> makes it 40... 42,800,000 missing. Naturally, the smallest city I put in was from Lincolnshire in the form of Caister, Southall, Pickering, Cromer, actually, for the fifth smallest. I wasn't expecting that. Biggest, London, Birmingham, Liverpool, Sheffield, Bristol. I'm actually genuinely surprised by the sm uh, some of the smallest ones here. Tenby, I'm not surprised by. Pickering, I'm a little bit surprised by. Now, obviously, the other stats is interesting. I've now discovered in the settings you can actually change the bubble sizes so I can make them more uniform which probably would have given me a better idea when I was in the south, but I've also rearranged by largest, and Plymouth is the 20th largest I actually put in. I think if I click finish and save, I get a better indication on things I missed. Obviously, I missed everything else. Leicester. I didn't put Leicester in. I knew it before I even saw that. I can't see I can't see English places I've missed, other than if they were more than 500,000. Leicester, I forgot. Football. How did I not get that from football? do believe they're the only UK one I missed. It was Dublin, but of course that isn't UK. Yeah, seemingly, that's the only one I missed. It's, it gets a little bit awkward in that regard because I don't now know what I've missed from the United Kingdom because it won't let you filter it. I'm actually just I'm actually just going to scroll through the uh, just scroll through the list and just check the populations of some places because it's kind of curious. It's kind of curious how they divvy them up, particularly those ones that were suburbs as well of larger places. In theory. But somewhere Darford is being registered. The Wembley one is the one I'm interested by. 90,000 people registered as Wembley, but not as London. Which is kind of fascinating, because that's double, more than double, uh, Boston. But it is interesting how small it can go. Caster with 2,500. That's in Lincolnshire, in case you don't know. D 147. I really want to know what I missed in Scotland. So I had a thought on how I can work it out what I missed. Okay, so I think I got the major ones. From Scotland in the end. The ones that appear in large enough. I think the I think the one that I was trying to remember was Falkirk. I think that was the larger one that I was trying to remember. But in terms of the ones that appear as sort of a font size above, Inverness, Aberdeen, Perth, Dundee, Dunfermline, Falkirk, Livingston, they're all the same size. I didn't get any of them. Paisley as well as alongside Glasgow. But those three there, Paisley as well, same kind of size. Kilmarnock, I think I did air, so yeah, there's a few, there's four there. Okay, so that is, yeah. So we got Banger there, but it, but by result, it didn't allow me to have Banger Wells, which actually, in fairness, looking at the size, is smaller. Good question, how do you spell Aberystwyth? 
Oh, I put another Y in. I put another W before the Y. I was one letter off, which, you know, not bad. I did get Carmarthen right, but it didn't accept it. Maybe I did put a type. In my brain, I spelt it right, but maybe my brain and my fingers didn't do the same thing. So we're looking at the south, trying to work out the major ones I forgot on here because of the London circle. Basingstoke, Swindon, maybe Bath. I think I put extra in in the end. Mm, didn't miss too much. Mayston, I've, I've, I've had friends from Mayston, so probably should remember that one. Wembley, interestingly, does appear as as a line here, along with Croydon. So that's good to remember for the future. Colchester, kind of forgot, maybe. This section here. I might have, I did put Kettering in in the end. There was a bit of a gap in this area, which probably was largely because of Leicester's absence. Hereford, maybe. Chesterfield. Chesterfield's a very big on Wrexham as well. Relatively, so Bradford. I didn't even put Bradford alongside Leeds. That's a hefty one, actually, thinking about it in terms of population. Bladburn, Preston. This area, I kind of forgot about. In the end, I kind of went Carlisle there, Manchester there. There's nothing in between. There's a few, obviously, here. Durham, Durham maybe. Scarborough's regarded as bigger than Whitby. I think I've done all right there, even though I was missing 48 million people, which, of course, are spread out across the country. They're not all going to be in cities. I'm never going to get 68 million in 15 minutes. Well aware of that. But if you've enjoyed this, I've got 111 in terms of total numbers. But if you enjoyed this video and you haven't seen the general Europe one I did a little while back, do go check that out. If you have and you're returning and you haven't subscribed, go do that as well. Like, comment, subscribe. All of that jazz helps all the algorithms. We are beholden to the algorithms. Thank you for watching. Until next time. ta -ra.